Let's make this document library multilingual using Point Fire 2013. Use the ribbon to choose library, multilingual list settings. Here you'll see the basic options you have when setting up a multilingual list. You can choose to add an item language field, which is typically required. Check boxes to allow multiple selections if you have multilingual documentation needs. Add variation fields to enable linking between content to make management much easier. Add and connect a language filter so that your lists and libraries are filtered based on the user's current language. And you can choose the variation lookup field to make things easier to manage. In this case, we'll just use the default values. Click apply changes. Just confirm that you do want to do this. We'll hit OK. Results are done. List has been made multilingual. Go back to the site. Now you'll see we don't see any documents. The reason for that is now the document library is being filtered based on language, whereas none of the documents have had their language set. If we go to the personal menu and choose unfiltered, we can see all of the documents, and that way we can manage our documents for this first instance. Let's open up the menu of the English user guide for Pointfire. Choose the open menu option, and you'll see a new menu item called manage variations. Let's click on it. Here you'll see the user interface to manage multilingual variations. Here you can set the current items language, which we'll set to English. You can see which item you're working on here in the title area. And also you'll see the one that you currently have is grayed out. Now we'll choose the French variation by clicking on it. And we'll use the arrow button to move it over to the French variation. Once we hit save, both of these documents will have their language set appropriately and they'll be linked together. Now that we've saved it, everything's good, we can close this window. We can switch back to filtered mode so that we can see things in action. Now you can see we're in the site in English, we see the English document. Quickly change to French and we will see just the French document. If you take a look at the document's properties, you'll see that the language has been set to French and it's been linked to the English document. Clicking on that will bring you to the English document and vice versa. That's it for today. Stay tuned for more videos.